This video is sponsored by Canvi. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, John143. Don't forget that underscore. I'm in the building, you heard? Dokes out in New York City. It's kind of crazy. I'm just like, my boy Slew did it again. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slew. You know, being an artist is lonely sometimes, and actually being a YouTuber artist is even lonelier. Because let's face it, you paint all day by your lonesome self, and then you edit all night by your lonesome self. And honestly, that's a large reason why I moved to New York City and built a studio here in Brooklyn, because I wanted that in-person contacts with other artists, you know, the opportunity to work with other people since New York City kind of is such a hub. And a way I directly do that, work with other artists, meet new creatives, is through my podcast, the Sluniverse podcast, which is my baby. <laughs> Yeah, hot tea. Have you done podcasts before? Do you want headphones? You don't have to wear them. I like to wear them. So I hear myself, right? Mm -hmm. So you hear your sexy voice. Oh. <laughs> Talking to that. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. yeah that, it locks you in, you know? Now you're, now you're in the podcast. Chris. Oh. <laughs> if you've been exposed to the YouTube art scene at all, you know who the guest is on the podcast is I'm talking to. It's Dok, Dok TV. He's a Slovakian based artist and content creator. I have been watching his videos since 2015. We're the exact same age. We have a lot in common. He's also the artist I sent 10 hundreds ultimate painting collaboration to. After I received it, I sent it to Dok all the way in Bratislava, Slovakia. And so Dok was just visiting New York City with his girlfriend and to my wonder and joy he made time for us to hang out at the studio and to do a podcast the podcast went absolutely great i think that we discussed some very great topics and i loved it honestly i would speak for like two more hours but yeah. i understand that yeah. it's a bit too much for you the audience but it is dangerous to get stuck in one style the advantage of uh this more street art stuff that Kipto does and 1000 does is that they still have their one style, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look the same all the time. Right. But the graffiti artists, they usually paint their name. So they paint yeah, the yeah, same yeah. exact it thing it's, again it gets and again. boring. Y yeah. For some people, it gets boring. Some people love it. Right. I mean, I love some artists, graffiti artists mm -hmm. who paint their name and they, they paint it again and again. Yeah. For example, you mentioned Sophilus. He, he paints mostly his name. Yeah. But he, he, for example, doesn't have that one style, I, th oh I think. Oh, no. He's Every amazing. single one of his pieces yeah. is kind of different. It's so, or it's completely different. I think he's one of the best artists in the world. Great. That was it. Yeah, good, I, good job, man. I was good pretty job. nervous. I think my face was all red. I was like, I hope I didn't say something. No, it was, it was great, and I feel like you also picked the really good topics. Good. Uh, yeah. yeah, some of them are complicated. The podcast with Doak was great. I highly recommend go watching it. We talk a lot about, you know, being YouTubers, different art styles, because we've had similar paths of growing up through graffiti and then moving on to other art paths. It was just really interesting talking with someone who does the exact same thing as I do, is the exact same age, but is it across the globe. So you can go to the Sluniverse channel to watch the podcast. It's also available on Spotify and Apple, everywhere where you can listen. Go do it, it's really great. And me and Chris put in a bunch of effort for these episodes. They're really hardcore little nuggets of passion. Um, and also for people listening, we're painting a mural tomorrow. We forgot to mention that. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but it's going to be great. So but it's great that we talked today. Yeah. Because what I hate about these collaborations is that when you meet someone for one day, you, you want to talk, you know, uh -huh, yeah, you, yeah. you don't want to paint. And you know? we need to focus. The podcast wasn't the only thing Doke and I were doing. Before he came to New York, he organized through some friends, through a guy through Germany who introduced him to this guy called Verse from Brooklyn, a wall for us to paint. I'm the one who lives in New York and Doke's the one organizing. It was embarrassing, but it was wonderful because Verse prepped the wall. He was really nice. We had this little basic plan that I was gonna do some sort of character in the middle and them two were gonna do some graffiti. So I kind of naturally went with uh, Medusa character because I love her dearly. Quickly, briefly sketched it out and then I put that sketch into my iPad to clean it up just a little so 
when going to paint the mural, I was just a wee bit prepared. So let's go everything to like say a nose or something yeah. like that or the eyes or something, you know? You are the central point. <laughs> <laughs> making me nervous. <laughs> The colors, uh, reddish colors, will be in, <laughs> in the 3D, and uh, this is this is gonna be the film, something like that. Playing it by ear. Yeah. Let's do this. You know, I was like 31, I think, at the time, maybe 32 at most, but yeah, it was fucking mayhem, I'm telling you. It was, it was, it took years off my life. If I die 10 years early, it's because of that one year in fucking South Beach, you know? <laughs> Line, but I don't know. It's out of focus. Oh, that's okay. I am a camera nerd, Doke. Is that okay with you? You are all like super video making geeks, and I'm like, I mean, I like doing videos, but this not. Bruh. I don't know what colors I'll use for that outline. But no, actually I was lying. First of all, I need to do the 3D. I need to make shadows at certain places so Ooh. it looks more realistic. Hey, and we got good colors. Yeah, um, hopefully I will find the solutions. Little uh, angular momentum, fucking <laughs> sharp, crispy craziness. That's your style, <laughs> no? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. It definitely has that, uh, that edginess to it wicked it looks real like uh it's gonna pierce you it looks sharp it really yes. does it yep. goes with the barbed wire right here yeah, it does actually yeah. it has that feel yeah nice i like movement in my pieces yeah. you know where it feels like it's being like stretched yeah. each direction Bubblegum's a long time for me. I used to paint with them when I lived in Spain. Back yeah, you guys, what you guys did? The, the, the corner, did the right? Corner the corner, right? right? Yeah, it's oh, right fire, super yeah. fire. Yeah. I see you smash this joint right here. Thank you, thank you. And then you got the sloop. Yeah, this, got the this Medusa, Medusa coming dope. through. Super it's crazy, really man. You know, I'm not even... Why am I fucking surprised? I'm not surprised, you know what I'm saying? Slew is just the one and only, you heard? It's fire. Yeah. This joint is fire right here, too, yeah. man. Come right here real fast onto the, yo, the yo, end. Yo, yo, yo. 
Put that prison pose in, Ken. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're at the finish line. We're, we're approaching it. Guys, it was just, it was an absolutely epic few days with Doak here at the studio in New York City. The podcast is incredible. Definitely go check that out. Follow the links to the Sudiverse podcast, Apple, Spotify, you know the deal. The mural, so fun. Verse was so cool. I feel so lucky when I get to meet these awesome other creatives in the city. So good. Um, it was just a wonderful time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Go check out Doak's video if you haven't seen it, because. He'll show you kind of his whole journey, and that's really cool. Second day in Brooklyn, not, not too bad. Podcast and a mural. Yeah, I think that we were very, very productive. I mean, it's a perfect combination because you get to see us painting, but you also get to see us talking for a long period of time, and that's it's awesome. It I is. love it. Yeah. I'm coming through for a second. <coughs> um, I think that's about it. I got some funny photos of Doke all the way at the end, but first we gotta talk about the sponsor of this video that makes it possible. It's Canvi, canvi.com. It's an amazing website and platform for fine artists and painters to professionally showcase their artwork online. You could use Canvi on your phone, your desktop, tablet, or laptop. All you really have to do is upload your artwork to Canvi. From there, you could crop your image as well as label its dimensions, which everybody should always do if you're putting your artwork online anyways. But it's super great because that is built into the website and the process. The rooms are designed to also scale true to the size of your artwork so that it could be presented accurately. And that's my favorite part. Then it's really just as simple as picking from one of 500 plus rooms Canvi has manufactured and up uploading your artwork. These rooms are really amazing. I can't believe the quality and every different type of style. You could actually change the color of the furniture and walls to match a real room or to just kind of experiment on how the artwork would look in different environments. You could also change the frame, the frame color, the frame size, and that is just really wonderful. Canvi is a really amazing platform that has reached out to me to help sponsor the channel and it's just a wonderful platform. So check it out. Thanks to Canvi for sponsoring the video. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to begin the story. I don't know how to end it because the Slooniverse is complicated. You heard? It's complicated. <laughs> oh, work it, baby. Groovy, Martin. How do you say you're beautiful? Sikrasi. Sikrasi. <laughs>